It's match time. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith with you as always to describe it. And we're looking forward to something special today. Eh? Well, I think so, Martin. I hope these two teams won't disappoint us. And the game today for you, Wolfsburg, and they are up against Borussia Dortmund. Borussia Dortmund under the microscope now. Full marks to the players because they've concentrated right from the very off from this season. I know there's still a long way to go, but uh, we all expected them to be champions, and they're looking like that in these early stages. I wonder what the opposition are thinking about. How do you mark Marco? Marco Royce, difficult man to pin down, and he'll punish you if you don't. Yeah, he's a good athlete. He uh, gets into really dangerous positions. Got an ability to ghost in unnoticed. the lineup for Wolfsburg for this fixture. Diego Benaglio starts in goal. Ricardo Rodriguez starts with Christian Tresch as the fullbacks. Luis Gustavo plays alongside Joshua Gilavogi in the middle of the park. Mario Gomez is the lone striker today. This is the Borussia Dortmund lineup. In goal, Roman Berkey. Mark Bartra plays with Socrates Papastatopoulos in central defence. Nuri Shaheen starts with Julian Weigel in midfield. And they'll play with a sole striker. Fibler, the match referee in charge. Fasten your seatbelts, this should be fantastic. Made the challenge well. On the attack here. Nicely played through ball. good support as they build this attack and there's the interception Mark Batra Dembele Dembele Julian Weigel Good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Keep an eye on the visiting team today because they're going for a fourth consecutive victory. And they've defended well during that period and I think they'll have to do that here away from their own ground. A penalty at Ingolstadt. It's a penalty for Ingolstadt. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Up he steps. Oh, a great penalty. Goalkeeper didn't move high to the goalkeeper's left. 15 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Stopping the pass, getting through with a good piece of anticipation. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. This Another goal-scoring moment from a serial scorer. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He looked the goalkeeper in the eyes and said, right, I've got the win here, and he's got the goal to show that. I love that kind of finish when you don't have to blast it as long as the placement is right. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Now Kila Vogel. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Got the ball now under control and a chance to move themselves forward. Get up the pitch. Julian Weigel. Dembele. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a goal for Hoffenheim. 27 minutes played. 1-1. One, one. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. And the ball 
knocked away long. Here's a chance to attack. Oh, he showed great anticipation there. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here and then just lost the concentration, lost the ball as well. And they've got to work hard to try and get it back. There's good progress with this attack. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. It's nicely worked until that point when it broke down. Now they've got to try and regain possession. Mark Batra. Royce. Obama Yang. Tackle goes in. Philip Bolshai. Well, could be a booking here. We can see it another time, Alan. This vital match leading goal. Mark Batra. Albama Yang. He might be through. Comes in strongly. They've thrown uh, the ball away there, literally to the opposition. Now it's Usman Dembele. Schiller! What a penalty! It's a yellow card for the offender, and it's undoubtedly a penalty. Well, it's a great chance for this side to stick one in the net, and for that player, he's got to be careful from here on in now. Penalty put away. worry about the pressure or the responsibility here and there's the goal yeah I think some people have cut out a bit some aren't this lad certainly is just widen the margin here to 2-0 and there goes the whistle for half time and the score line is 2-0 let's hear about uh, Marco Royce now in his first half performance from Alan Smith well he, he tucked his penalty away really confidently and that should set him up nicely for the second half Well, they're still trailing, and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. It is such a wet day, and it's been raining through half-time as well. We'll just have to see how much the pitch can take. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. And the cross coming in. Rice, well, he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Christian Trash. He's got that well out of harm's way. Shaheen. He went in well. Well, that's in the remit now of the referee. Players not encouraged to put the ball out. It's stopped because the referee says this player needs some treatment. The manager won't want to do that because he's an important player, but the board's up and the substitute's coming on. While the injured player has gone off, we're going to get the game restarted with a drop ball. ready now to make an alteration for their team from the bench and he's got the ball away from him with the tackle 
Julian Weigel. Marco Reus. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. Royce. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Luis Gustavo. Gets his foot in there. Gomez. That's a splendid clearance. That would be a throw. We've got EA Sports football for you from the German scene, the Bundesliga fixture. Wolfsburg facing Werder Bremen away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Just wonder whether the occasion's getting the better of him. We really expected a bit more so far. Yeah, well, as you can see, he's touched the ball very few times, but, you know, he doesn't need too many touches to make a difference. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Alan McAnally is our man watching elsewhere. Alan, what have you got to tell us? It's a third goal. It's a quick break. The shot's on. Off the crossbar. And back into the penalty area. At the moment, the pitch is bearing up under this torrential rain, which only seems to be getting worse. Well, the groundsman on the sideline will be looking a bit concerned. I mean, it is a great surface, and it does drain extremely well, so it would take a lot for this game to be called off. It's gone out for a throw. Joshua Gilavogi. Unfortunately for Alan McAnally, the name Hoffenheim was a bit too long for him to say in that report. We've had to cut across him because of what's going on here. But uh, Alan wants us to tell you, on his behalf, a goal for Hoffenheim in that game. In with a chance. That's a good try, isn't it, in the circumstances. Uh, but they need these to go in, not just fly wide. Yeah, they do. I mean, they haven't let their heads drop in fairness to them. They've kept on plugging away. Good forward play from them. And that's going to be a goal kick. Could be dangerous. And now the shot! It was a good attack, a good effort at goal. If they are going to lose, they're going to go down fighting. Yeah, and I think the opposition probably know now that they've virtually won this match. And the ball has gone up to indicate three added minutes. Mark Vatra. Possession in the midfield area. Into the attacking third. So it has finished here at... Bundesliga. Ingolstadt 1, Eintracht Frankfurt 1. Freiburg 0, Hamburg 0. Wolfsburg 0. Borussia Dortmund 2. <laughs>